What's good JD fam? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going on a little date night. It's Ooh. just a random little Tuesday, but we decided that we have to go on a date night today because it's actually going to be our last one in a really, really long time. Are you sad? Uh, I'm sad, but I'm also kind of happy because we have some Excuse other you? stuff. No, well, we have some other stuff planned up to kind of take over the date nights, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Some vacations and stuff, you know? Okay, yeah, that, that's that's very true. You guys may be wondering, why is this our last date night? And we're gonna get into all that, give you the nitty gritty details. It's literally nothing too crazy. A lot of people have also been wondering, how has it been with the nanny? You guys know that, like, about, what, what do you think, like a month ago? Yep. About a month ago, we did hire a nanny to come a few days a week to take care of Koa while we go on date night. So far, it's been going really well. Koa is starting to get more used to her. We're still kind of trying to figure out like our schedules and everything, but so far it's going well. She is actually going out of town for an entire month. So that is why we're not gonna be going on any date nights because she's leaving. So we won't have any babysitter to watch Koa for the next month but that's okay because we're gonna have some amazing family time and like Julia said since she's going on vacation we're like we might as well go on a little vacay ourselves. Yeah, we might as well go on a, a vacay or a couple vacays who knows you know what I'm saying it's honestly it's so hot in Texas that we need to go somewhere where we can just get in the water every day. Yeah, because we need to get out of here. I feel like I'm dried up from this heat. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm Sandy Cheeks in her in her bubble when she takes off her uh, Sandy mask. Sandy Cheeks. Off her, off Sandy her Cheeks gotta be sweating in that bubble. So I picked our little date night spot today. We're going to dinner at a restaurant that we've never been to, but I've always yeah. wanted to try. Carbone, which they have in New York, and if you haven't heard of Carbone, it's supposedly like impossible to get a reservation unless you're like Kylie Jenner or Drake or somebody like that. Like you literally cannot get a reservation, so we've never been there, but they have one out in Dallas. That's one cool thing about Dallas. We have like all the restaurants, and I could make a reservation same day. I just booked this like a couple hours ago, so it better be good and live up to the hype. I think it just opened barely this year actually, so. It's still pretty new, and we're gonna see if the hype is real. Hopefully it is. I'm really excited to try it. I heard they have like the Caesar salad that they literally make at the table right in front of you. Like literally make the dressing table side. That sounds fancy. Yeah, I'm That was hands down the best dinner we have had since we have lived in Dallas. So good, I highly recommend that restaurant. The spicy rigatoni, the Caesar salad table side was definitely really, really good. Best Caesar salad ever. And the service was amazing. Huge shout out to the manager at Carbone. She made us feel so good and special, you guys. She's the sweetest person ever. Yeah, she hooked like, it up too. Literally, guys, she almost made me cry at one point. She was like, just had the kindest, kindest words. She knew us from our YouTube channel and she just was so nice. Ah, I want to come back again for sure. Yeah, we're this is my favorite restaurant out here. Like not bring, even competition. Yeah, we'll probably bring some of our family members out here, but look at Dallas right now. Dallas is like, it's kind of fire out here, you know? Okay. Nice yeah. little skyline. We're on Slocum. Look, and look at the car that just drove past me. Okay. Nice little culinary, you know? Culinary. That's what, hey, listen, that's, you know what I'm saying? What that's, is this, a hotel or an apartment? Ooh, look at that. Ooh. What is that? That's a, uh. <laughs> that's a zaddy. That's a zaddy. A zaddy? Okay, zaddy. I'm, I'm just joking. <laughs> Another see, day back. Oh my gosh, you guys. We have been trying to leave the house that's for a whole hour, and this man has run back in like seven times. That's took 30 hours to get ready. I literally did so much in the time that he was getting ready. I fed the dogs. I fed Koa a little bit. Koa didn't eat too much though because we're going to Starbucks. Made him toast. Got Koa ready. 
Look at all his shoes on, got all his stuff together. So the plan is we're going to the park and Julius is gonna go run. Me and Co are gonna get Starbucks while he runs. And then they're gonna drop me off at Pilates and then they're gonna go to the little water park while I'm in Pilates. So I am on a time crunch because my Pilates class is at 10 a.m. I'm trying to and tell this, her. It's already 9.15, he still hasn't run yet. Listen, I still I'm haven't gone to, to Starbucks. Her, I'm trying to tell her, it takes me 10 minutes to run a mile. So that's literally gonna be super quick and then you're gonna go straight to Pilates. I don't like rushing. I want to just be calm. I don't want to be like nervous if I'm going to miss my class. Ugh, what if the Starbucks line's long? Then what? Then I'll be done before you. <laughs> I'll be waiting on you. It's 9.30 now and you just are barely getting to the park. No, it's really not 9.30. Yes, it is. He lying, still hasn't dude. even run and I still haven't gone to Starbucks. It's 9.25. People I'm about were to asking me about like my anxiety, like if it's if I'm worried that it's going to get worse moving back Listen. to California. Because it's been better out here. But let me tell you guys the truth. I always have anxiety with this in. man. He stresses me out. Oh, I need to get my headphones. If I miss my class. Where's the other headphones? He's made me miss like three classes already. And each time I miss, I have to pay $10. You took the other headphones? I didn't oh, take right them. Yeah, skedaddle out of here. All right. Made it to Starbucks and picked Julius back up. And it's 9.50, so I have 10 minutes to get to Pilates now. Perfect timing, honestly. Oh, it cut, cut it close though. I was kind of, and the Starbucks line was really long. I was a little bit scared. I got down with my run before she got done with Starbucks. Oh no, I spilled on myself. Uh oh. And this is all I gotta say. Today has been such a funny day. If you haven't laughed, I hope that just made you laugh because I feel like laughing is contagious. Once you laugh, everybody should laugh. Not right? me, I haven't laughed. <laughs> That's because Destiny today, it's been like she's her stomach's been hurting. Okay, your stomach hurts every day just because my stomach yeah, hurts. Well, her stomach's been hurting. But that's besides the fact, everybody, I hope everybody is having a wonderful Thursday today. Um, we are actually at Target. We are going to run inside right Why now. Why do you just feel the need to just say that I was on the toilet all nah, day? Nah, I'll cut that out. <clears throat> No, I won't. But we are about to go in Target right now. We have a couple more things. This is literally our last and final day of us being alone together. Side eye. <laughs> Side eye. Nah, but really though, we already told you guys in the beginning of the video, um, our nanny is actually going on vacation for a while. So we are gonna no longer be able to go on dates, gonna be able to not run errands and stuff like that unless we bring Koa. So today we're gonna take advantage of that. Tomorrow she leaves. Yesterday when we went on our date was our last date night. But today is our actual last day so we're gonna get errands done. We gotta run into Target, get a whole bunch of stuff for the house. You just need some toothpaste. You need some toothpaste. You actually need you toothpaste. Need I'm some... not even saying nah. that as a this. That's what we came for. But see, you see how that, it's like a we subtle We actually dish. came for toothpaste. You see how she not. tried to, you see how she tried no, to be a sweet, <laughs> she tried to be a sweet, Listen, subtle, no, innocent, have, get at me. Like We have toothpaste at the house, but he only uses a very specific toothpaste. I look so ugly right now. Hey, listen. Destiny doesn't use any toothpaste. We need to put her on game and figure out a good toothpaste for her because her breath is kicking. <laughs> No, to you you added all the expensive stuff. He got a mattress topper, new sheets. What else? Listen. And I let him pick the sheets this time, so don't judge, because of course he had to pick kind of crazy color. Listen, I'm telling you, anytime you go with Destiny to Target, <laughs> you're more than likely gonna spend two hundred and fifty dollars plus. Today we spent five hundred dollars because Destiny. 
No, but you know what? I don't get a she lot of stuff for myself. She wanted to get pots myself. and pans. Yeah, everything I get is actually for the family or for Koa. I got Koa a lot of toys. Well, not toys, but like kind of arts and crafts type stuff for him to do because it's so hot outside. We're going to need to spend a lot more time inside and I don't want him to just be bored. So I got him some little arts and crafts for us to do. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Julius, every time we go to Target, has to get... He got a whole... He went to the self-care aisle for men's and got a whole bunch of like face masks and stuff. No one, he never uses them. No, I'm using them. He got 17 packs of t-shirts and toothpaste. No, just three packs of toothpaste. I <laughs> three packs one, of toothpaste. I needed one and then two just in case you run out. Because if you run out, that's a nuclear war. It's like a nuclear. It's a nuke. <laughs> Goodbye. For some reason, my husband's love language seems to be just clowning on me all day. Nah. Yeah. I love you though. <laughs> That's is the most beautiful woman in the world. Not right now. My face looks like a potato head. Ow! All right, y'all. So I lied. Yesterday was not our last day. Today is our last day. We're actually, we made a little pit stop. Destiny's over here choking on her food. It's really spicy and it went down the wrong tube. Yeah, she be over here. Well, I'm over here zooming in. I stuff. told them I wanted it super spicy. Yeah, she be over here trying to get stuff too spicy. We made a little pit stop at our favorite Thai food spot. So. We are waxing right now. I got some chicken fried rice right there. I got some, ooh, chicken. What are these, babe? I forgot. Chicken spring egg rolls. rolls. Yeah. Chicken little egg rolls, spring rolls. I got wonton. Wonton. She got one. She got wonton soup and spicy seafood salad. I'm telling y'all, we're really taking full advantage of this last day, but I really just got this fried rice because I'm going to give some to Cole when we get back because he does have gymnastics later, so we got to make sure he eats and he has a full stomach and everything. But we're about to enjoy this nice little last day without recording or anything and just vibe out. So we'll see you guys after we eat. And just like that, we are back at the crib. It's so hot outside. It's kind of ridiculous, right? Yes, it's a hundred and something again. So babe, how have you been enjoying our date nights and everything that we've been doing since we've had our nanny? How, like, what would you rate it on a scale of one to 10? Like, how have you been enjoying it? I've really been enjoying myself. I think it's like given us a lot more time to just like enjoy yeah, definitely. Each other. For sure. Even though we love our family time, obviously, it is good to get that just one on one time and yeah. just get to just, I don't know, love on each other. Yeah. And I honestly, for me, I feel like it kind of got us back in the groove of things. Um, we went a long time without filming, without posting, and we would literally just post a video and then like not post for like eight or nine days and we're no longer going to be doing that we're going to be posting every other day don't matter what so just be expecting new videos from us a lot more and just to be active a lot more so we love you guys so much we'll see you guys in our next video peace